Hey guys, Woodruff here. Um, let's now get into headaches. Um, so in my previous videos, this is kind of a little bit, there's like little stuff here and there that's scattered and that's a little different. Um, but I will um, hit home a little bit more that I guess with further reading um, and things like that, that um, even though in the past I have strongly, strongly said headaches are a vasodilation, which they can be, I am reading more and more that headaches are actually not well understood and it could be a variety of causes. So I cannot now blame vasodilation all the time or, you know, when I'm having a headache, I can't sit there and be like, damn, that vasodilation. Um, so I'm here to tell you that headaches um, are actually, well, headaches are a pain. Let me say that. <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna make a joke. Um, headaches are uh, like the only symptom really most, well, nah, no, I don't want to say that. Headaches are primarily a pain um, as the symptom um, that most people complain about. And um, it comes because, and the video that I have, that's like a pathophysiology video, um, talks about that it's about uh, like the brain can't feel pain, but the nerves around it, the blood vessels around it, the muscles around your head and your neck can. So a lot of times when there's something going on, um, you know, it, again, it's not well understood, um, but anything that stretches causes inflammation to these areas, moves these structures can lead to a headache. Um, so a lot of times if you're getting a headache, you know, we like to think like, oh, I have a headache because I need to eat. Oh, I have a headache because I'm stressed. Oh, I have a headache because I'm in nursing school. Maybe you do. Or maybe just one of those little blood vessels, nerves or muscles is just a little irritated. We'll never know. So there is, um, let's see where I'm going. Yeah. So this is an osmosis video, I think, over migraines or headaches. It's pretty good stuff if you want to watch it. Let's talk about um, this. And this first video is just a general on headaches. And then I'm going to break it down into the three types of headaches um, for other uh, for shorter videos. Um, but general assessments and diagnostics is, is, you know, mostly, again, since we can't really diagnose it, it's not something that we, um, you know, unless there is like a really obvious cause, like they, um, I should say there's like primary headaches and secondary headaches. So just like primary hypertension and secondary hypertension, I smiled a little bit there because I brought up cardiac, but you know me. Um, so it's the same as primary and secondary hypertension where primary, we don't know why secondary is like maybe a preventable cause. So, you know, um, that would be something like if um, you had a tumor or some other sort of neurological condition that was leading to the headaches, you fix that problem, the headaches go away. Um, but most people have primary headaches and that's what we're talking about here. Um, so when we're, we're diagnosing those, we usually do it off symptoms. I mean, we may rule out other causes with CT MRI, but one of the best things we can do, and I know this isn't going to seem like it because you're like, I'm not going to tell a patient to go like write in a diary, but in nursing school we do. Um, so we tell them to keep a diary, write down your symptoms, because this is the best way to know since we can't really pinpoint what the issue is. Like I could throw them into treatments, but until I know what's like triggering or what's happening before, or is like a certain time of day, what's the pattern? What does it feel like? Like, I can't really help this patient. I always need to start by gathering data. Um, I always check when I write diary because I always worry I'm going to write dairy. <laughs> anyway, um, so the main assessments I'm going to do are pain. Um, and I want to do a full pain, like location. How would you describe it? What makes it better or worse? And then also sometimes symptom uh, headaches can have other symptoms like aura or like nausea, vomiting, gastrointestinal symptoms. So I want to see if there's any other symptoms they're experiencing too, so I can narrow down what kind of headache so we can get the best treatment for them. Um, for all types of headache, they're getting better if the pain is improved, there is either less or no other symptoms, um, improved quality of life, um, or overall like a less of an interference with their day-to-day -day life, like, you know, kind of learning to live with them. Um, and then it's worse if the pain's worse, new symptoms, increasing symptoms, or like their quality of life is starting to get affected um, or their day-to-day. And there's three types of headaches. I'm going to separate after this slide, I'm going to separate into the different types of headaches. Um, but what's really helpful, I think like if you're a visual person, like drawing these out and like something like this of writing and drawing this out, um, you can write out the symptoms, but sometimes seeing it uh, adds a new layer of understanding. And so um, what do you call it? I think drawing it out or if, if this was something you really struggle with or didn't have as much time to study, using it on your note card drawing, something like this. But when you're looking at headaches, you really want to think about like, where is the pain? Like, what are the like, um, 
how would the patient describe it? Because that's going to really help you to differentiate it. But this kind of shows you a visual, you know, like tension. Um, this is where most of their pain is. And it feels like a tight band. Migraines is usually one. And um, the tension is like all around the head and sometimes can be in the neck. Um, migraines are usually in the temporal, like a throbbing. And then cluster are more around the eye um, and like one sided on the face. So um, I think that visual helps. But anyway, the next video will all be about tension headaches. I'll see you for that one.